I want to start with something. Um, there's an article on Mediaite, which is um, uh, a relatively, it's an ego uh, site, honestly, for those of us in the media, media um, related site that the people in the media check out. But uh, other than that, it's, it's pretty irrelevant. The article expresses a viewpoint that is becoming more and more prevalent in our society every single day. And I want to talk about it a little bit. It's about Mike Huckabee and his attempt to support Chick-fil-A because they're under attack over CEO Dan Cathy saying that he supports traditional marriage. It's beyond that. His statement doesn't say traditional marriage. His, uh, he says he, tr- he promotes traditional values, traditional marriage. And then he goes out and slaps people across the face who have been divorced. And he points out that he's been married to his first wife. And he makes a point of saying first wife, and I am deeply, deeply offended. <laughs> so anyway, um, first of all, I, I want you to know I'm not a Mike Huckabee fan. Mike and I have our differences on a few things, and um, we have um, uh, we have called a, a, a truce, if you will. Um, I think he's um, I think he's got a lot to say, um, but. Uh, not a fan of of Mike, per, per you know per se, um, but he is doing something I think good. I've said before that out of all the left leaning websites on the internet, I found Mediaite to be um, mostly fair. Uh, sometimes I agree with their perspective, sometimes not. But the amazing thing is, uh, we occasionally agree. So, I'm not I'm not promoting either of these organizations. When they are right on something, I am there. However, this uh, article on Mike is just plain awful. Here's the sarcastic beginning here. Here in America, a nation founded on the principles of fairness and equality, there is a terrible, terrible injustice going on. In our country, a country where people are thought to be free, a group being horribly oppressed. A group, a group, of course, is the fast food chicken chain Chick-fil-A. Their God-given right to oppress gay people. Their God-given right, this is what's written in this article, to oppress gay people has been totally ruined by the decision of some people to say totally mean things about them. Fortunately, Mike Huckabee is here to save the day and defend Chick-fil-A's right to be anti-gay. Yay! Why, when you're for something, do you immediately have to be against something? Why? Why can't you just be for something without hating something? Because I do it. I do it with my cereal. I, I'm. I'm. I don't buy cornflakes because I like frosted flakes. That doesn't make me anti cornflake. That means I am pro-frosted flake. When did we get to be this society where if you're for something you have to hate? Oh, I'll tell you, my deep-seated hatred for for cornflakes, I just want to oppress the cornflake people, and that damn chicken pisses me off. That chicken with a colorful tail and... Ugh. That doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Chick-fil-A is a chicken sandwich restaurant. I hate to break it to the left, but chicken sandwich restaurants don't have any power to oppress. None. Not that I know of. (laughs) I haven't seen that anywhere. They can't oppress gays. They can't oppress straights, bisexual. They can't blue-eyed people, brown-eyed people. They can't oppress anybody. They are a chicken sandwich store. (laughs) Chickens, you know, the chicken sandwich, are they my, okay, all right, cows. They can oppress cows. No, no, they can't. Mm -hmm. Chickens. Mm -hmm. Chickens. There is no Chick-fil-A police force out there. (laughs) I don't know if you know this. There is no Department of Chick-fil-A rules and regulations. The Chick-fil-A military, though, is Uh, strong and powerful. No, they don't have one. No. No, uh, no, it's ridiculous. <laughs> but let me continue. 
Huckabee isn't just saving the day, he's creating one, Chick-fil-A Appreciation Day. But let's back up. For those of us who don't know why Chick-fil-A needs to be appreciated, the story is this. Chick-fil-A is actually a super religious corporation. How religious? Religious enough to always be closed on Sunday. Oh, oh boy. Oh, my oh, no. oh, oh, my God. Is that religious? Oh, boy. I didn't know. Oh, I just want to vomit. I just want to vomit <laughs> right now. I'm so sick right now that I have I have given Chick-fil-A some of my money, and they've given me a, oh, I think it's all coming up. I haven't had a Chick-fil-A mm-hmm. in like six months, but I think it's coming up right now. <laughs> I think I could taste the pickle. I could taste the pickle on mm-hmm. this. Oh, my. <sighs> this is another instance where the left is trying to control the language. Religious enough to always be closed on Sunday and give millions of dollars to anti-gay groups over the years. What Dan Cathy wrote was pro-traditional, one spouse, one time marriage. Not even, hey, let's get married and oh, that didn't work out. For whatever reason, that didn't work out. I'm going to get married again. Dan wrote, basically, we should all just be married to our spouse once. Oh, my goodness. But that don't, I don't think as a divorced man that he's oppressing me through chicken, pickles, and buns. <laughs> what about the soft drinks they serve? Well, that's a different story, yeah. but I don't want to. Yeah. Don't please. Okay. Don't get, they could right. waffle fry you to death at any oh time. Oh, my gosh. In case people weren't getting the message from that, CEO Dan Cathy did a couple of interviews last week in which he helpfully explained that gay people marrying the love of their life was inviting God's judgment on our nation. America responded quickly. Comedians began mocking the brand around the clock. The mayor of Boston vowed to keep the chain out of his city. Even the... G- <clears throat> You okay? I'm just, just I'm a little... It's amazing. I'm a little... I didn't know this part. You were a little... It seemed overwhelmed by I'm what's coming overwhelmed. next. I'm overwhelmed. I didn't realize that we had gotten to this point. Mm-hmm. I'm a little upset now. Okay. I wish I would have read this one line earlier because it may have changed... Well, it turned me around. Okay. Even the Jim Henson Company has decided to stop making toys for their kid meal. Oh, my God. No more Muppets. Oh. And, uh, wait, wait, sandwich. wait, wait, wait. I'm not finished. Mm. And more. And more? Not more. More and, than and, that? And more and than more. Jim Henson Muppet Forget about uh, the toys? Jim Hepin Henson uh, Muppet toy. It was the and more, more that got me. Oh, okay. America responded quickly. <laughs> As you can imagine, this is in danger of hurting Chick-fil-A's feelings. Read sales. Fortunately, the good, honest people in the country can unite and protect the restaurant thanks to Mike Huckabee's Chick-fil-A Appreciation Day. Then he shares the Huckabee letter. So gather around, good people. Eat your chicken proudly. Look at the sky and shout to the heavens, hello, world. In the year 2012, I still somehow believe that keeping a group of people from having the same rights as I is not bigoted. It's Christian yummy, yummy chicken. Okay. Again, I don't necessarily agree with everything that Mike uh, Huckabee says. I don't necessarily agree with what the chicken people say. But you know what? When I don't agree with Mike Huckabee, I turn it off. When I don't agree with Chick-fil-A, I just don't buy their chicken. Oh, my gosh. That sounds almost like America. I actually don't even think that's true. I eat at places all the time I'm sure I disagree with. If I like their food and they make it well, I eat there. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. I don't make statements inside of buns. How many times have you gone to a Tom Hanks movie? I, I disagree with everything he's ever said, I think, politically. Uh, same with Tom Cruise. Same with Steven Spielberg. Same with George Lucas. Yeah. I still see their movies. Conservatives I mean, generally it, seem to be able to handle that. Yeah, we can We can pretty much you know why? Because understand we people disagree with us. Yeah. We really That's truly right. believe, we in speech, and and believe in freedom of speech. We believe that y- you can be different. You can have different sets of values. When it gets to be too much, like the West Wing, when it gets preachy and they're in your face every week, week after week, you know, then you choose to turn it off or just not watch but sometimes. Even, but even with the West Wing, look what it took. It yeah. took Martin yes, it Sheen did. going out in the streets, marching all the time over and over again before we didn't organize and say boycott the West Wing. No. All he said is, right. I just, Martin, can you stop doing it so much? Because I like you as an actor. Yeah. I like you as an actor. I think you're mm-hmm. playing a great president, and I mm-hmm. like the West Wing. Can you just tone it down a little bit? I mean, one of us is deeply wrong, and maybe it's us. Maybe it's us. Maybe, maybe the left has it right. 
that we, you should never do business or never relate or never talk or never be friends with anybody that any way in shape or form disagrees with you whatsoever. And if, if I don't think that's true. If their opinion is different than yours, they automatically hate. Yeah, of course. Where, where did that come from? How do we get to this place in America where you can't just have a disagreement and just be fine? Okay, you feel that way. I don't. So, I mean, maybe we just don't talk about it because uh, we don't want to fight with each other. Right. But no, you have to you, you have to vilify, you have to demonize, you have to boycott, you have to do well, all this stuff. And sometimes conservatives do go to the boycott train. And honestly, I think it's stupid. I never I never participated. I don't like boycotts for any reason because no. of a political viewpoint. But the funny part about that is whenever a conservative group does do that, liberals go crazy. They can't believe anyone would boycott a movie or a TV show over mm-hmm. their values. It's insulting. They go nuts. And but here's they do the it thing. all the time. All and the here's time. the thing. And here's the reason why I said at the beginning about Mike Huckabee. I don't agree with Mike Huckabee. Mike mm-hmm. and I have serious disagreements with each other. But you know what? He's doing something good. Mm-hmm. He's doing something good. I may not agree with all of his standpoints on this particular issue. But you know what? Freedom of speech is freedom of speech. And it's a damn chicken store. Yeah. Uh, by, by the way, and, yeah, exactly. I have no problem. Mike and I, even though we disagree with each other, I mean vehemently on a few things. We still treat each other with respect. He's still a decent human being. He still is doing his show and doing it the way he thinks it it should be done. Good for him. I celebrate the fact that somebody who doesn't have my opinion on everything is, is on the air. There is no problem with that. That's the way adults and Americans handle things. And by the way, the same way we handled uh, things when uh, J.C. Penney was being boycotted over Ellen because she was gay and she wasn't allowed to be in the commercials. Exactly, we right. criticized that Stupid. too. Right. Yes. And if you're Stupid. boycotting, you're boycotting J.C. Penney's because Ellen DeGeneres is gay. Well, you're you're just too stupid to wear pants. <laughs> you're just too stupid to wear pants. And the same thing, if you're boycotting Chick-fil-A because the CEO has an opinion that's different than yours, you're too stupid to eat chicken with pickles. <laughs> Let's move on with our lives.